Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 of tangent of x divided by x all raised to 1 over x squared. Now let's begin by rewriting this limit in the following form. The limit is x approaches 0 of e raised to the natural logarithm of tangent of x divided by x all raised to 1 over x squared. Now we've not changed this expression as it is just equal to x. But now what we can do is use the power rule for natural logarithms and bring this down to the front. Doing so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of e raised to the natural logarithm of tangent of x divided by x all divided by x squared. So all we've done is bring this power down to the front. Now as the exponential function is continuous what we can actually go ahead and do is move this limit inside the exponential function. Doing so we have e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 of the natural logarithm of tangent of x divided by x all divided by x squared. Now notice if we were to calculate the limit as x goes to 0 of the natural logarithm of tangent of x divided by x we would have the natural logarithm of the limit as x approaches 0 of tangent of x divided by x. Now this limit here is just equal to 1 so we would have the natural logarithm of 1 which is just equal to 0 and of course in the denominator we would just have the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared which is equal to 0. So we have a limit of the form 0 over 0 and in order to solve this limit what we're going to do is go ahead and apply something called il hopital's rule. il hopital's rule basically says that if you have a limit as x approaches c of a function f of x divided by another function g of x this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x. If f and g are both differentiable at c and the limit is of indeterminate form 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. Now that criteria is satisfied for our problem above so we can apply a Hopital's rule to it to try and solve it. Let me just rewrite the problem down here. So we have e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 of the natural logarithm of tangent of x divided by x all divided by x squared. So what we're going to do is take the derivative of the numerator and then take the derivative of the denominator. So we have e raised to the limit as x approaches 0. The derivative of the natural logarithm is just 1 over its argument. So we have 1 over tangent of x divided by x. And this is being multiplied by the derivative of the inside part. In order to take the derivative of the inside part, we need to use the quotient rule. So we have x multiplied by the derivative of tangent of x, which is just secant squared of x, minus the derivative of x times tangent of x, which is just tangent of x, divided by x squared. And in the denominator, we just have 2x. Simplifying our expression, we're left with e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 of x times secant squared of x minus tangent of x divided by 2x squared times tangent of x. Now notice that this limit is actually of indeterminate form 0 over 0 again, so we're going to have to apply a Hopital's rule for a second time in order to progress with it. Doing so, we have e raised to the limit as x approaches 0. Now in order to take the derivative of this part here, we need to use the product rule. So we have secant squared of x plus x multiplied by 2 times secant squared of x times tangent of x minus the derivative of tangent of x is just secant squared of x. These two cancel and we're just dividing by the derivative of the denominator. Again we have to use the product rule. Doing so we have 4x times tangent of x plus 2x squared times secant squared of x. Tidying this up we're left with e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 of secant squared of x times tangent of x divided by 2 times tangent of x plus x times secant squared of x. So all we've done is cancel a factor of 2 and cancel the factor of x. Again, this limit is of indeterminate form 0 over 0. Again, the limit is of indeterminate form 0 over 0. So we're going to have to apply a Hopital's rule for a third time in order to solve it. Doing so, we have e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 times secant squared of x multiplied by tangent squared of x plus secant to the fourth power of x divided by 2 times secant squared of x plus secant squared of x plus 2x times secant squared of x times tangent of x. 
Now, we can actually just go ahead and let x tend to 0. Everything that has a tangent of x will just be 0, because tangent of 0 is 0, and anything multiplied by 0 is also 0. So this here is 0, and this here is also 0. Now, secant of 0 is just 1, so this is 1, this is 1, and this is 2. So we're left with e raised to 1 divided by 2 plus 1, which is just equal to e raised to 1 over 3. And that is the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this content useful, could you please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you have a great day.